Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sarah Cody. Brian Spiros is off tonight. We'll get to those stories in just a minute. First, a check on your forecast. Here's a live look in New Haven right now. It's a muggy and hot Monday on the way. Meteorologist Joe Fury has more. Hey, Joe. Investigators are trying to figure out what caused a deadly motorcycle crash on a busy interstate yesterday. 52-year-old Sherrod Robinson of Hamden died in that crash on I-91 southbound in North Haven. Authorities say he lost control of his bike and crashed into the center median guardrail. Anyone who witnessed the crash is asked to contact state police. Eight is your local election headquarters, and anyone trying to petition their way onto the ballot for the upcoming general election in November is running out of time. The deadline for those petitions is this Friday at 4 p.m. They can be submitted to the local town clerk's office. From there, they need to be turned over to the state. Oz Griebel, an independent for governor, is one of the most high profile people trying to get on that ballot. And a number of people loaded up on carbs today in North Brantford, and that's because today marked the end of the potato and corn festival in that town. News 8's Stephanie Simone has that story. All right, well, some joyous news here on News 8. Today's sunny and warm temperatures made for not just a great beach day, but also a perfect day for a wedding. Our own Storm 8 meteorologist, Sam Cantrow, got married today. Yay! Yay Sammy. Congratulations to Sam and, and his wife, Melissa. We are oh. certainly wishing them. All the best, and you're not allowed to wish them high pressure again, or whatever oh, you did. A six. lifetime of high pressure in the what does that mean? in the meteorological world. That means sunshine and blue sky and just uh, you know happiness and wonderfulness and weather everything. humor. Yeah. Exactly, yes. <laughs> it's an inside weather person's joke. Yeah. But Sam likes the heat. We said that he does, before. Yeah, he had a perfect day. It's going to continue. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going. As a matter of fact, we're going to get even hotter uh, for tomorrow, Sarah. So. It's good. And the AC remains our friend. Oh, yes, indeed. All right, thanks, yeah. Joe. That does it for News 8 at 10. The Good Morning Connecticut crew will be here starting at 4.30. Have a great night.